Hey Kelly, this is Katie. So you can do, um, I think that transition thing in the free YouTube, uh, editor, video editor. Let me show you. So I'm in my video manager in YouTube, go down to that create link and then go into video editor. It's going to show you all of your videos over here in this window. So you grab the one that you want to add the transition to. Let's say it's like this one. You just drag and drop it over here. I see the and then close this window because right now we're only seeing these quick fix options. This is what I forgot to do I... yesterday when I was in here. So now we have all the other editing options available to us up here. Um, and we can bum, 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 bum. Oh, this is what I wanted to do. Add a photo. So, um, okay, wait, first go to the place in the video that you want your transition to be. So let's say it's like for me after 44 seconds. Okay. Then, so you click on your, you can move it around here, find the spot, and then you click on the little scissors icon to split the clip at that place. I and then you can see that I've now got two clips, 46 seconds and 57 seconds. Okay. So I tried using their transitions and really the transition is not going to be what we want it to be because it kind of just like, um, it doesn't give any time between the two clips of silence. It just is the transition from the one clip to the other immediately. So I looked at this option instead, which is uploading a photo. I just created like a little photo that says pause the video now. And I created that in Canva and then I just uploaded it. So you just do add photos, go out and upload photos, and then you can go out and grab whatever photo. I mean, it can be a photo of anything you want. Um, I just created one in Canva that says pause the video now, and I could send that to you if you want to use that one. But then you just take this, you drag it and drop it between your two clips. And what will happen is when the video starts to play, here, let's move it over to 45 seconds right before that clip plays, and then you can kind of see what happens. So I can tell that that quiz is in this course. It's just that it's not. See, so there's where there's no audio. Not deployed. So it's not available in your. So, and then you can make this as long as you want. By default, it looks like it's at five seconds, but you could make this longer if you wanted them to have longer um, in there. The thing that was throwing me off was that I kept, I was stuck in this menu. So you need to either close that menu or with that X, or you can click on the little video thing and that takes you back to the main menu. I see. So that might be a good option for you. It's free. You don't need to buy Screencast-O-Matic because Screencast-O-Matic doesn't even have a fade to black option. It probably has something similar to this. If we wanted to do this with Screencast-O-Matic and you've already bought it, then that's fine too. But it looks like the free YouTube video editor will give you something that might work for your students. Hope that helps. Bye, Kelly.